Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star signs reading with myself, Thomas Janak, and my guest, Jen Arnold. Hello. She is back, seventh time she's here today. Absolutely awesome. We're looking at the week of May the 3rd to the 9th, 2021. Now, everything is energy and everything has energy. So do dates and numbers. And three is the number of progression. And nine is the number of completion. So, unless the overall energy tells us something else, this is going to be very, very likely, will be a week where the universe is saying to us, just because we're looking at the third to the ninth, let's get stuff done. Mm -hmm. So, because the energy or the week that we're looking at is sort of governed by the energy of progression and ending things, this is a really good time for you to say, like, whatever isn't working, I'm going to reflect on that and maybe make changes and tweak things, right? So, and now we're going into the overall energy for the week ahead. Okay, and you didn't see these cards that I no. just turned over. No. So the two cards we have are perfect timing. Mm. Absolutely, I will show you. Perfect timing and life purpose. So, um, yeah, just brilliant. So um, perfect timing, as it says, now is the time for you uh, to put things into action. Now is the time to get motivated um, to do the things that you've been wanting to do, been putting off doing. It's definitely an action and a movement card. So it goes really, really well um, with the energy numbers as well. And life purpose that goes along with this card. This is um, what you're meant to be doing. So the two cards together indicate that it's time for you to be moving forward with what you're meant to be doing, not what you've um, been doing for other people or feel that you should be doing or have been waiting to do um, something for you. So this is a real big powerful energy of move forward, do what is right for you because this is what you are meant to be doing right now. Awesome. Yeah. I love that. Nice. Good, yeah. good, over, good overall energy. <coughs> and obviously um, will be helped by <coughs> the, very, the very energy of yeah. the week we're looking at. Like I said, we're looking at the week of May the 3rd to the 9th, 2021. Now we're going into the very first star sign, which is Taurus. Let's see what we got for Taurians. Here we go. Mm, very interesting, because I said that a couple of times that Taurians, mm, depends on how you look at it, fortunately or unfortunately, can be like bulls in a china shop at times. You know, they can be like, Whoa. You know, there's a bit of warrior energy about Taurians. And what they're saying to you this week is to remember that you do not need to prove anything to anyone. And you don't also, you also don't have to, to prove anything to yourself. What you have or ought to do is to allow yourself to pat yourself on the back and purify your system from preconceived notions that you have about yourself and maybe um, this is the word the guys give me if there is some disdain that you have for yourself oh I don't like this but I can't do this this sort of thing that's what what is in the way of your growth so what the guys are saying to you in short for Taurians you know an awful lot already but you need to also internalize yes I can do that which also looking at the overall energy, because this is a week of progression and doing what you came here to do. So don't be afraid if you haven't quite reached where you feel you want to go, you can still work towards stuff as long as you realize nothing holds you back but yourself. And should there be other people, use your Taurian warrior energy and put them in their place. Because not everybody is a bad person, but if you give, they take. And when people, when you give your time and people take their, the time that you offer, it gives you less time to develop what you want to really do. And sometimes it's important to say to people, you know, um, I need some space here for myself, right? Okie dokie, that was Taurus going into Gemini. Okay. Just, be, just be careful there, Molly. Oh, there's a Molly is here, um, and that stand is not anyway. We just manifest you will not 
tear it down, right? <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> so, um, Gemini. So for Gemini, we have opportunity to forgive and steady progress. Um, this is this is all about situations that have been difficult, relationships that have been difficult, um, and we have gone through a difficult time in this last year. So there will have been some energies that have built up between relationships, couples, families, etc. And this is all about um, releasing the negativity that is built up within this period of time and letting it go. It says opportunity to forgive. If we can forgive, then that's great. But if we can't, it's just to let go of those energies now and time to move forward instead of holding them with you. Because what you're doing is holding you back as well. That's what happens when we hold these, these negative patterns we back, we hold ourselves back. And the second card, steady progress, is then that you will be able to move forward. Um, I want to say emotionally with you as well. This is what I feel. I feel it's very much about emotions, this reading. And you'll be able to move forward emotionally um, with the letting go of these patterns and the negativity, etc., some of it I feel is quite difficult and has been quite difficult and the times have been quite difficult and um, I feel quite um, teary and emotional. So I know that there's been a lot that's been going on and, and holding back with you. So now is the time to just try and release those, let them go, know that you don't need them anymore. Um, they're not serving you a purpose anymore. And if you can forgive and forget, all the better. But if not, just let it go now. Okay, thank you very much. That was Gemini going into the next star sign, which is Cancer. Let's have a look what we got for Cancerians. Quite interesting <clears throat> and quite short and sweet actually for Cancerians. And um, it, it, it sort of it cracks me up a little because lately the guys were talking tons for Cancerians. Ah. So not today. <laughs> for Cancerians, all the guys are saying to you is this is the week of progression. Remember? Progression and trying to get things sorted and done. In your case, you have the polar goose and the arrow. What that means is the polar goose is an animal that flies thousands of miles before she lands again, which basically is the analogy here is you need to be patient. You're not ready to land and do everything you need to do. So allow things more time, but because you have the arrow, even if you feel, oh, I'm not getting anywhere this week, or I'm not getting anywhere per se, the arrow tells you, don't despair, keep going. No matter what happens, even if you're not yet where you feel you want to be, um, so even with all the manifestation that, that's going on at this point in time, because it's a good time this week to manifest since we have a week of high energy, all the guides are saying to Cancerians, please allow it more time and don't get annoyed simply because you're not quite there yet. Right? Mm -hmm. So short and sweet, as I said, for Cancerians, we're looking at the week of May the 3rd to the 9th, 2021. And now we're going into the star sign of Leo. Yes. Okay. For Leo, we have relationship and the ocean card. Um, feel quite a heavy energy that's just come in with this as I turn the relationship card over. So um, th this feels to me as though there's some of you, again, um, you would have been holding on to relationships that I feel, um, the only words I'm getting in my mind are, are past their, their date. Okay, past their sell by date is what I actually got in my mind. Mm -hmm. But they've gone past their date now. Um, it is time to, to free yourself from bonds, from ties, a little bit. It's going on from the last reading that I, that I did with Gemini's actually. Um, it's time to free yourself up from, from these ties that you've been having and to create more balance within yourself and your life. So it's about coming, coming out now, bringing yourself out now and allowing yourself to be who you really are and the person that, that you need to be. 
and the ocean this is about healing for me it's all to do with water emotions again and it's all to do with healing so it's time to do this and time to heal from this now for yourselves and for, for the other people involved as well um, because I feel it's it, it's going to be a little bit of a di difficult period but once it's done you you know parties can heal from this and move on but also with this card I do feel that there will be some journeys to the water for these people that that need the additional healing because you will get the healing while you are there as well so book those days out weekends out whichever you can do um, it's really really needed and I feel once you've done this you will feel the upliftment within yourselves as well okay thank you very much you probably if you are a regular a regular viewer you know that oftentimes we have overlapping energy um, um, not everybody notices it because what a lot of people do um, they look at they look at the overall energy and then find their star sign yeah. which is perfectly fine but you then don't notice that you that there's overlapping energies oftentimes between star signs yeah. which also means because you follow a star sign that has just had readings that make sense. So of that energy, if it is overlapping, um, is also in your energy, if that makes sense. So, and apparently this is now beginning, mm -hmm. uh, because we sometimes have that sort of completely unrelated and then eventually sort of starts and not, it doesn't always end. It just, once it starts, um, when they're talking about healing, it sort of goes on. Um, and now that we're in Virgo, um, it is very similar to Leo, in that you have the black bear and the badger. So what they're saying to you is, you too, um, one of your jobs or the, or, or the main bulk of your work, so to speak, this week that we have progression to, um, uh, pro progression to uh, the number of protection, number of pro pro no, progression, the number of progression to the number of. It also starts with a P, you know. You're just ending it. <laughs> From three to nine, number of progression, and then nine is the number of completion. Completion. I know there was a P in there somewhere. <laughs> okay. All the guys are saying is your your job this week. Thanks. <laughs> Sometimes words don't come to me. That's okay. Um, is to realize that this is not a week for you to be um, depressed. This is not a week for you to sort of go like. Don't know what's going on right don't even go there even if you have a condition that may um, make you feel sad or bad you know kind of thing you know um, all the guys are saying to you is this is a week to to try and have a high energy because the high energy is also in the energy of the week but the bear all bears stand for healing for deep healing what is interesting about this is because you have the badger here is that what needs to heal is that feeling that some of you still carry of not being seen, being very misunderstood and maybe when you speak your mind people um, dismiss it, right? This might be a thing of the past, Mike, could also be that for some of you Virgos um, it's, it's pretty much happening right now, right? But this is a week because the energy is high to realize whatever you say to me is just your opinion, right? And I do not have to listen to your opinion and certainly I don't have to identify with the attributes someone puts on to me. So that's a thing that I'm getting from Virgo strongly. But you need to also allow to, to um, remember and to realize that past events and people actually making you feel small have taken their toll and there's trauma inside you and this week it wants to be released right so in the badger is basically the animal that stands for being very misunderstood right and at the same time they're cute they're agile and they're important and so I don't know if you're cute, but you're certainly important. Don't know if you're agile either. <laughs> <laughs> <Right. No. laughs> but ultimately, it is important for you to look at yourself and realize, you know what? People have their opinions, not my monkey, not my circus, may have got nothing to do with me. And I 
um, letting that go. Right? But healing is, in, is on the forefront. So maybe it's a good time for Virgos to do um, some um, meditation, maybe do some cleansing. You know, you could just have, you know, white sage or just draw yourself a vortex with a pendulum. Loads of easy things um, that you can do to hire your energy this week. Right? That was Virgo going into the next star sign, which is Libra. Let's see. It's quite a theme. Again, isn't it? Yeah. We have that so many times, so often, you know, about overlapping energy. Mm. Okay. So, Librans, we have Cupid and new partner. Um, very say, much. Say goodbye <laughs> to your loved one. <laughs> yeah, Hello. very much. Um, yeah, it's it's sort of keep. There's a rumbling mm. effect going on here. <laughs> Okay, so it's very much about love coming into your life. So sometimes when love comes in, love also has to go out. So for those that are in a relationship, you will know yourselves if that relationship, it's time to leave, it's fizzling out, it isn't working. Um, you, you know, there'd be no surprise there if you're listening to this, you will know. Okay, so um, for those of you that are single, keep your eyes open there's definitely love coming in and i would say with this uh, there's a number three that's heavy with this as well i keep seeing the number three with this so it can be three days three weeks three months but there's definitely um a number three that's important in this it could even be um your third partner but there's the, there's something about this relationship that is real connection a real tie and i want to say that th this relationship um, I want spontaneity, so I feel this will um, somebody that you'll meet off the cuff or something, somebody that you'll know but you didn't know you were going to get together with them. If there's a real spontaneity about this, but um, I have such a real um, joyous feeling with this that I feel many of these relationships. I won't say all because we can't say all because you have free will, but I feel that many of these new relationships that are coming in now um are going to be destined relationships and many of them um they'll last the time they're meant to but many of them will last quite a long way as well so certainly enjoy okay and okay. remember we're looking at the week of may the third to the ninth from progression to completion these uh -huh, are the, the yeah. numbers that are there yeah so um just saying that this is also therefore a good week, sorry for butting in you to your reading here, mm -hmm. but this is also a good week to realizing, uh, to realize how hanging on to stuff, holding on to things just for the sake of it. Or maybe even to, to be nice is not working because yeah. the energy of this week is from three to nine. So we're progressing to where we need to go and we're ending or completing cycles. Yeah, right? Which is also important because we, as sentient beings, we all go through cycles. And when you look at, at life cycles, you normally begin at birth and then uh, there's a nine step cycle that lasts nine years each, if that makes sense. So the number nine is super important in that. And this is the last day of the week we're looking at. So never underestimate the energy that numbers have. Because there is a reason why some numbers are sacred. To number nine, there are certain parts of numerology um, where people do not use the number nine because it is a sacred number. Just saying. So please do not hold on to what, what has run its course. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that was, um, sorry about that, for coming in here. Uh, that was Libra going into Scorpio. Let's see what we got. Funnily enough, and I had that sort of last week, I'm very drawn to some of your cards. I was wondering yeah. if I could if you I could can. use use them. Thank you. you can. Sorry guys. <laughs> Here we go. Let's just see what we got. We're going into the star sign of Scorpio. Here we go. So <laughs> a lot of C words in your in, in, in your <laughs> reading. <laughs> right? <laughs> Make of it what you want. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cleanse and detoxify and creative effect a uh, project. Here's what that really means for Scorpios. This is a week, and we just talked about this in, in the previous star sign. This is a week of letting go, mm -hmm. of 
letting go of anything and everything that no longer serves you, right? And because you have cleanse and detoxify, when you do that, you get rid of, of either parts of yourself or energies in your life, like people and situations, <clears throat> that have run, it, run their course and that are no longer really, sounds really horrible, worth having. But we also have, we have the creative project next to it, which means when you start um, looking at what your life is like and realizing that doesn't quite work for me anymore and I am letting it go, yes, you cannot just let it go and not feel anything afterwards. So you might go into a void, you might go into grief, even if it is your decision to, to end something, right? You will feel a void. And all the guides are saying is, this is that sort of... Um, important if that makes sense because oftentimes the guides advise us to sit with it it's really really important oftentimes to not just move on and sit with it in the case of scorpio because creative project comes right after cleanse and detoxify what they're saying to you is pay attention to your next step without chasing anything if that makes sense what i'm getting strongly for scorpio is that this is actually not going to be a super difficult week even though this might be a week where obviously the universe saying to you you know whatever isn't working this is the week to let it go right if that makes sense <clears throat> and it's also important because I, I keep going on about the numbers this week but they're quite important <coughs> because we have the third of the ninth and and the, the week after this on the 11th we have this, the, the next full moon and so whatever you let go by the end of the week will energetically hit you on the 11th with the full moon so just be aware that don't try to let stuff go and then be tough about it right so like oh, i need it to happen la, la, la. i'm fed up with this don't convince yourself um, allow yourself to be even tearful because this is what i'm getting for scorpio as well uh, they show me water with scorpios which is oftentimes you know obviously you have uh, detoxifying it and cleansing mm. but i'm getting this um, realizing that even though everything has its time allow yourself to also go into the process of of letting this go and even and I'm getting the term grief here if there is anything you need to, to need you need to grieve about by all means do so right that was Scorpio thank you so much for the cards <laughs> <Well, laughs> thank you and now we're going to the next star sign of the week which is Sagittarius and like I said, we're looking at the week of May the 3rd to the 9th, 2021. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel and please share the video because if it resonates with you, it might as well resonate with someone else. Right? And here is Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, we have Law of Attraction and Innocence. The Law of Attraction is very much about um, the thoughts that you put out are is the energy that you bring towards you so whatever it is that you're putting out there if it's positive if it's vibrant then that's what you will draw towards you and help to manifest if your thoughts are still quite still and quite negative and quite i don't know where i'm going things aren't working right then you're going to keep manifesting that energy around you so it's really important to choose your thoughts wisely um, and that's not just because of bringing an energy around you, it's because of uh, what it is that you want to bring around you as well. So it's like really think about what it is that you want, because you may just bring that towards you at the moment. OK, so try and think really positively about it. Um, and a lot of the times, if you bring in that higher energy and the higher frequencies, it will bring it more towards you. The Innocence card, this, this is all to do about um, letting go of, of guilt and anger and any of those feelings as well. So again, it's very much letting go of these emotions, letting go of things that have been holding you back. And it's about bringing that innocence to you, that new beginning to you, where you're not thinking about those past thoughts. So it really goes with the Law of Attraction card. So it's thinking the positive, thinking the good. Um, every thought is an investment. So use those thoughts wisely and bring what you do want and what you do need. 
something towards you and you will possibly get it. Yeah. Okay. Short and sweet that. Yeah. Thank you very much. That was Sagittarius going into Capricorn. Capricorn quite interesting this week because, like I said, energetically speaking, numerous times, um, <laughs> this is obviously a week to, to get stuff done. Yeah. And yet you are excluded. <laughs> because what I'm getting for Capricorn is you have the deer and the caribou. And every time you have a deer coming in, it tells you don't be chased by anything, don't be upset about anything, just rest. Because of all the animals that um, you know are here sort of as animal deities in these decks, there's only one that asks you, sounds a bit weird, to mimic it. And that's the deer. The deer is oftentimes when the deer comes to people, it tells you this is a week for you to wear restful colors like brown and green, right? Um, and therefore getting to the energy, you also have the deer and the caribou, which means they're both animals with antlers. Antlers mean you're fully protected. Mm -hmm. And all they're saying to you is, even though the energy is sort of a kick-ass energy, where I'm going to do stuff, hold back on that thought because your energy, as opposed to all the others we had so far, is for you to realize, I need a bit more rest. I need a bit more. And it's not that you need to reflect more. It's just simply, you need more rest. Try to have a week where you use the higher energy that we're having due to the dates. Um, and just relax, if that makes sense, right? And then, because you have the caribou as well, which is a, a deer that has a split hoof, which means when the terrain gets difficult, it doesn't sink in. If your life is difficult, you're not going to sink in. You're going to be just fine. What you need to do, in a way, is recharge your batteries and remember you're fully protected. And I would really advise you to listen to the deer because when an animal guide says to you, wear restful colors like brown and green, it goes a long way if you do. Right. Short and sweet for um, Capricorn. And now we're going into Aquarius. Wait for you to sing the song then. I know, I'm not gonna. I was always singing because every time I, I have Capricorn, I was always gonna have Capricorn as a song that comes into my head. Um, and I'm not gonna sing it because I sent it in one of the episodes and then I got a text from, from YouTube. You cannot monetize this video because it's copyrighted. And I was like, oh, and then I realized I sang, I sang a line of a song. Oh. But we're not monetizing it anyway, it's all a free service. But I, I was saying a song that has Capricorn in it, you know? And so, no, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, we have perfect timing again, which is one of our overall energy cards and trustworthy guidance. So um, the, the first card, it, it absolutely dovetails into the second card, actually, uh, to know that what you're doing now, you are definitely being guided to do. Um, you have spirit looking over your shoulder. You have your guides, your loved ones with you trying to help you to write the script for the next part of your life. This is where I feel we're going now. Um, and I keep seeing September as well. So I feel September onwards is definitely going to be a pivotal uh, time for you as well. Um, so I know that these are horoscopes for the week, but remember I said September onwards as well. But there's some, um, some brand new ideas that are coming in for you. Write them down, get the thoughts and feelings all being given to you, uh, the divinely being given to you. Write them down, move forward with them. Don't procrastinate. Don't keep holding back. Um, don't worry about, you know, can I do it? Am I good enough? What will happen? It's perfect time and the overall energy. So you've actually got that double whammy there that is absolutely saying to you, Aquarius, get on with it now, really move forward. That It's like a powerhouse of energy that you've got. Don't let lack of confidence, self-esteem hold you back. Um, I feel, you know, you'll regret these things later if you don't try them, okay? So really, you know, a good, good period of time for you, Aquarius. Awesome. Let's okay. hope it continues because now we're going into Pisces. <laughs> Our star sign. Our star sign. <laughs> Let's see what we got. And of course, I'm drawing to the to, to, to the guides that are sort of in your face. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Interesting. Um, normally, the guides give me sort of two cards. Sometimes they even give me one. <laughs> we have three. 
<laughs> and we have the hunter of abundance, the spirit of family, and the dancer of promise. That's these are sort of obviously just words. Because we have the spirit of family in the middle, I will just um, so that's the message for us Pisceans this week. Because we have the hunter of abundance, we're not quite there yet with regards to where our energy wants us to be. Um, obviously, you know the the lockdown hasn't ended all that that long ago and we're still all of a sudden what, what's the next step you know shall we do things again outdoors kind of thing you know um shall we do psychic nights again all that kind of stuff yeah. so and all the guides are saying is don't make decisions just yet go with the flow as much as you can and because we have the hunter of abundance we want to get more affluent so that we can actually have the 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 security to do more and all the guides are saying is, it's coming, whether or not you ask for it or not. So abundance is not necessarily financial. It just means like you know you are we are being us Brazilians, <laughs> we are being looked after very very well. We have the spirit of family in the middle. Now how this normally works is you have the animal or the or the, or the card in the middle, and if there are two cards flanking it, then they're protecting the the energy of the card in the middle. And so we pay more attention to that. We have the spirit of family. And what that means is, this is a good time, may sound a bit difficult, for looking into ancestral healing and past life regression. Because what I'm not getting is to, you know, to necessarily reach out to the family members that are still here. This week, even though it is, you know, a week of, yeah, we're progressing and we're, we're completing what hasn't been done they're not saying don't reach out but what they're saying is this is not the week where they're asking you to deal with issues in your family if that makes sense um, but because the spirit of family is prominent this is important to realize that whatever line you are coming from whatever part of a family you're from is part of you whether or not you like it, if that makes sense. So you might just feel like, you know, ran away from them 20 years ago, haven't regretted it a bit kind of thing. And that's your prerogative and, and nobody's saying it's wrong. All the guides are saying is this is still in your DNA. And if there is anything, because what I'm getting is past life regression and ancestral healing. So it might therefore be issues that have originated before this lifetime that are now ready to be explored. And because there's ancestral healing as a word, you know, there might well be things that have happened in your bloodline that are now ready to be released and dealt with. How this normally sort of, if you envision it that way, you are part of the ancestral line and because you're here, you're now in front of this ancestral line. And if there's anything in that line that hasn't been dealt with, you are the one dealing with it, if that makes sense. So, for instance, you know, uh, some people may find out that there is a hereditary uh, problem in their family. It will very likely flare up this week. So you can see, maybe I can cut ties, you know, maybe I don't have to carry this forward with me. So there's nothing negative here at all. All they're saying is pay a little bit of attention to your family tree, your family line. Really, really important because you have the dancer of promise. Now, dancing just means pussyfooting. I'm, I'm, I'm moving, but I'm not really moving away. I'm not necessarily moving on because dancing, unless you're really good at it, so in, in place kind of thing, you know. I used to be in front of the bass speaker. <laughs> not a bad thing. Because we have the dancer of promise, which means there's a part of you deep within that might actually feel responsible for somehow for that family you came from and there's a distinction between coming from a place and belonging to a place if that makes sense so the guys are not saying you, do, you don't belong but you are also an individual and the dancer of promise means that because you have the spirit of family as the main energy in the middle here for us Pisceans you do when, you, when, when you're dancing around making promises um, all the guides are saying is nobody expects you to make any promises. If anyone expects you to make promises, it might be individuals from a family or family members that expect you to do certain things. Mm. 
You do not have to do anything people expect from you unless you want to do something go ahead and do it remember this is the week of three and nine progression to completion so really really important uh, i just try to summarize this here in short it's just whatever comes up this week about you growing up your family maybe your family tree maybe there's some stuff that runs in the family you know stories about oh they did this and they did this and they did this um, you know, it reminds me of this who you think you are thing, you know, on TV. Right? And so maybe it makes sense to look into that and maybe set the record straight. Mm -hmm. So there's not that much action required. All they're saying to you is don't feel alone. Don't feel you're totally isolated because that's the other thing that comes along with the spirit of family. You do belong to hundreds of people, maybe even thousands, right? And you may not feel it. And all the guys are saying this week, pay attention because somehow there is stuff that needs to be released because of the energy that we have from the 3rd to the 9th of May. And I said that so many times in this reading, it's really important not to underestimate um, when you have a week that is bracketed by, by, by two really powerful healing numbers. What an awesome energy that that is to actually do something. Yeah. And that's what we get for Pisceans, right? In my mind, I really go like, what's that about? So, you know, we'll see. Maybe I should just ask the people in Germany to send me a nice packet of this food I can't get here in England. Something like this. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, that was Piscean going to the very last star sign of the week, which is Aries. Aries, okay. Let's have a look at Aries. Okay, Aries, we have daydream and go for it. Another positive card as well. Um, all your thoughts, all the things that you're thinking about doing, trying to manifest, trying to get going, um, that have gone round and round and round in your mind for some time now, absolutely be moving forward. Another action card, definite action card. So this is all about action this week um it, it's like visions ideas creativity they're all coming together this week so take notice of again of any ideas any any thoughts that are being popped into your mind anything that people say notice signs around you i'm getting as well there'll be things popping up around you or you know you'll see this and you think oh it's funny i've been thinking about that or somebody will say something you think that's strange that was only being said the other day There'll be things that'll be popping up, like what we call coincidental. Well, they're not really coincidental. They're there to get your attention, to make you notice them. Because you should definitely now be going positive with these thoughts, with these ideas. It's time for you to move forward, Aries. Um, I just feel your energy for, for Arians holding back doesn't sit, sit right with you. Um, it's just, it makes you feel uncomfortable. So it's time for to be the true you now. And it's like, just get out there, get moving forward. You'll feel better within yourself when you do as well. Okay, short and sweet, but positive. Again, okay. positive, yeah. Thank you so much. That was awesome. You're it's been a long welcome. time, isn't it? I've enjoyed it. <laughs> it's been ages. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyway, I see you all um, next week. Hopefully, please, 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 please share the video. Yes. And please subscribe please to the channel. Right? Support us. You know, it's all a free service, you know, and um, it's important, like I always say, if it resonates with you, it might resonate with some of your friends. Yeah. Um, so help us um, to reach more people, right? That's all we got time for this week. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.